Uber's information systems were recently breached, and it appears it all started with a hacker targeting one employee. Welcome to Beyond the Breach. Uber recently notified authorities that they suffered a cybersecurity incident. Meanwhile, the hacker behind the incident has publicly shared some startling details with news outlets and also let Uber employees know, by using their own corporate Slack, of the attack. Now let's go beyond the breach. The Uber hack appears to have started with a technique known as push bombing, or MFA fatigue, where a victim is repeatedly asked to approve an MFA login notification that's sent to their device. According to Wired Magazine, the hacker claims they gained access to Uber systems by targeting an employee and pushing them MFA login notifications. Then the hacker contacted that employee through WhatsApp, posing as Uber IT, and saying that the notifications would stop once the employee approved the login. The employee approved the notification, which opened the door for the hacker to gain what appears to be widespread access to Uber's systems. And according to the Washington Post, the hacker said that within a few months, they might leak Uber source code that was obtained in the hack. So what should you do? While there are many highly technical aspects to this breach, one thing seems clear. It took a very low-tech attack to get in. We don't know how, but we do know that the hacker already had the employee's username and password. The last piece of the puzzle was getting the MFA login request approved. You should use MFA anywhere you can, but you must also be extremely careful to never approve an MFA notification you didn't initiate, and never allow someone to convince you to do so. And as always, if you see anything that makes you go, hmm, especially an MFA notification you didn't initiate, report it right away.